All right, we've been seeing images of police officers from all over the country for nine days now responding to these demonstrations and these protests nationwide. But did you know there was a time when we as a country, America, did not have an organized police force anywhere in the entire country? So let's go beyond the headline this morning and take a look at the history of the police force in America. The law enforcement system we have today wasn't shaped until the mid-1950s. Back in colonial times, there were no police officers. Communities would simply hire someone to act as night watch. It wasn't very effective. Most of the time, the watchman would sleep through his shift or get drunk. The first time we saw an organized law enforcement system was just before the Civil War. Cities set up what they called a slave patrol, a group to prevent slave revolts and hunt down runaway slaves. After the war, these groups switched more to enforcing segregation. And as time went on, police forces focused mostly on protecting businesses in big cities from union organizers and crime rings. The problem? Police forces were controlled by local politicians. In 1929, President Hoover created the Wickersham Commission to look at how effective law enforcement was nationwide. The results of that commission led to the creation of independent police precincts that were separate from political parties and are more similar to what we have today. All right, over the last year, CBS News has surveyed more than 150 police departments across the country. At least 69% of departments that were uh, surveyed said they do have racial bias training, including the Minneapolis Police Department. They said they've been teaching bias training since 2015 and de-escalation training since before 2005.